General Manager of the Demerara Harbour Bridge, Wayne Watson, explained to the newsroom on Monday that the tide was not optimal for the tug and barge to be traversing under the Harbour Bridge's high span, and this contributed to damages to the anchorage. The accident occurred at about 12.45 hours last Friday, and according to Watson, the tug and barge that was laden with lumber should have been crossing much later. What we do know the time that the barge was trying to traverse the ice pond was not the right time in terms of the tide. Thus far, the damages to the anchorage have already been repaired with no hindrances to the flow of traffic across the harbour bridge. The GM noted that the few wires and chains from the anchorage became disconnected and those were repaired hours after the accident. Added to that, Watson explained that Span 55 also suffered minor damages that were also repaired. What's so wrong the the decision to travel the, the, the ice span during that time, we're still investigating. We don't know if it was, it was an instruction from, from the Arbor Bridge or if they decided to travel the, the, the bridge. That, so we're still investigating that. But nevertheless, with, um, the, the barge got collided with um, span. Um, 55 to 55, the, 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 the tug breeze span 55 and the barge um, span 51. Mm -hmm. And the damage to um, the anchorage? The damage was the, the outcome from wire rope and wire rope and chain uh, damages, anchor chain and wire rope damage. A cost assessment is being conducted to put a value to the damages and that bill will be handed to the owners of the tug and barge. And further, the Harbour Bridge GM noted that charges can be laid against the owners for the accident. The investigations will determine whether the DHB management goes along this route. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.